Okay, so with this question, a lot of learners, when they look at this, they freak out. What some learners would even do, and I'd probably do this when I was in grade, like earlier grades, um, I'll just cancel the threes, but that is wrong, okay? So what? think about this carefully. If I said, what is x plus x plus x? If I just said that to you, you'd say 3x, wouldn't you? Um, if you said x3, you just got to think about that carefully. We're not multiplying. So what is this plus this plus this? Well, how many, thing, how many of those are there? Well, there's three of those weird things. Does that make sense? There's three of these weird units over here. Okay. And then you make that equal to three to the four. Okay. Now, I like that there's threes everywhere, but what we're going to have to do, what would you do here? x3 multiplied by x4. What would that become? Well, x7, right? You add. So you don't, and, and notice, did I change these x's to a y? No, they stay x. So what could I do here? Here, these are the same. So what do I do with these exponents? Well, just like you did over here, you add them. But then do I change this to a 9? No. You keep it a 3, just like you kept it an x over here. But Kevin, 3 times 3 is 9. I hear you, but we're not multiplying 3 times 3. We're multiplying 3 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of x. It's very different. Okay, so we end up with 1 plus x. So we just added the exponents just like we did over here. And then we have 3 to the 4. Now we are in a good position because on the left and the right, we have the same base. So we can cancel the base. Boom. And then you can just take x to the, I mean, the 1 to the other side. And so x is 3.